What's up, everybody? I am back. It's Tuesday. We're getting into something totally new to me today. Uh, the artist's name is Pasalu. Um, it may be pronounced slightly differently. I know it's French, but he's African. I'm not exactly sure about regional pronunciations. Uh, the song's called Belly. We'll get into it in just a second. Uh, before I do a couple things, I do have my coffee as always. Um, I'm not a professional. I don't speak French or any other African language. So if this song is not in English, I'm probably not going to be able to do much with the lyrics. Um, I'm not a vocal coach. I'm not a music teacher. Please don't expect me to be breaking this song down into its components. Um, and don't be a dick. You know, I try to be thoughtful when I do these. I try to, you know, keep my, uh, keep my opinions open when I'm listening to new stuff. And I would just ask that we keep uh, a level of respect in the comments. Uh, well, with that out of the way, let's get into it. This is Belly by Pa Salu. I've been gone for a while, but I still make it back to you. Okay. I'm in the back rows with my killers, girl, you know what we have to do. I know you might think it's a part, but baby, I'm Pa Salu. In the elevator, in the shot, I know you're feeling my point of view. You know what I'm Get old man can still travel. Get old one can have accountant. And get old man can leave the bando. And still stack money in abundance. Get old man, no bad struggle. Uh, fuck that. Get old man can go make that. Get old man can still be humble. Hella get old ones in my circle. Right from my get old man, kill you with no license. Never had much, now we have many. See me walk with chest Feel that slack, that's the style and flex True when the money came full, them vex Big up the great ones who just mind business I never tired except chill the next Compete with myself and I did best Do the belly, do you know how it feels so blessed? You know feel the power when you self-invest Never had much, now we have many And we pop penny, we now have you touch penny Gold nights I was selling from a selling Your lad, we don't stop to the money is penny Never had much, now we have many I like that. It's a little bit of a more relaxed, um, casual beat than I usually like in hip hop, um, but it really works. Uh, a couple things. I, okay, so I, I know he is African. I'm not sure if he is in Africa or if he's in England. It, it seems like he might be uh, displaced. Um, I know a lot of African countries, French is the uh, official language. I, it put me in mind, and this may be, uh, this may be work, me working too hard, but it made me think of the Black Panthers, frankly. The Black Panthers in the 60s in America 
Fred Hampton, that group, one of the things they were doing, people know about the militant side of the Panthers, right? People know about the patrolling with guns and the, you know, showing up at uh, polling places armed and stuff. People know about that. People don't so much know about like the um, morning breakfast kitchens that they put together to feed kids before they went to school. And I'm not, I'm not here to say that nobody in the Black Panthers did anything they should not have done. All right, there are people who were committing crimes. I'm, I do not care very much about those crimes. I'll just be honest, I don't care. If you were black in America in the 60s, you get a lot of wiggle room for me. Um, but one of the things they were doing, they were serious about was building community and conspiracy theories whether or not they're true i can't say i tend to i tend to lean away from conspiracy theories uh personally but one of the things that people say may have led to the execution by the cops of fred hampton at 21 he was 21 and they shot him 100 times one of the things that people say led to the decision to go kill fred hampton was that he was building a coalition between the panthers and white homeowners associations. That would have been a very big deal in the 60s. Multiracial, multi-class, right? Across, across both color lines and economic lines. And whether or not that's why they killed him, that sort of fell apart. Fred Hampton seems to have been a very, very significant part of that drive. He was... Um, he was an incredible, incredible person that made it to 21. Who knows? He would still be alive. <laughs> he would still be alive today. He would be in his 80s if they hadn't gunned him down. In bed. Like, like little cowards because, truthfully, cops, feds, they are, they are the scaredest, weakest people in our society. They, they feel naked without a gun. Um, anyway, I know that's not really about the song, but all the thematic elements of the song talking about, you got to feed the belly, you got to take care of your family, right? Which family doesn't just mean blood. It also means community. See, you know, giving money to the girl who needed some, that sort of thing. That, that does make me think of the Black Panther movement in the United States, um, community support is really valuable. Now, it's, it's also good if you don't have to worry about gang violence on your streets. Yeah, you'd, you'd also like to see that change. But one of the ways to change that is to take care of people. People, racist people, like to sort of distill everything down to color right? Well, or laziness, which is also because of what color you are. Well, these folks, they're not making it, they're not successful because they're lazy or because they're not smart enough to do it. You know, we have money, we have stability, we have three meals a day, our kids know they're going to get fed in the morning because we worked hard. And through no, no benefit, no, we had no help. We had no access that nobody else had. We didn't have legacy admissions to colleges. You know, we didn't have uh, beneficial loans that helped us and didn't help other people. No, 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 we did it all on our own. And the reason you are in trouble is because you didn't work hard. And that's not, it doesn't bear out in reality. But what we do know is that crime, drug use, various other uh, socially Mm, socially frowned upon, I guess, things, those tend to go up when poverty goes up. And they tend to be closely correlated to poor. The poor parts of town are where there's a lot of violence, regardless of the people who live in there, regardless of whether they're white, black, foreign, domestic, poor. Poor is the operative here. If you are able to take people out of poverty, if you are able to give people security 
if you're able to give them a sense of tomorrow, I won't have to worry about being evicted. Tomorrow, I won't have to worry if all of the people in my family will have enough to eat. Tomorrow, I won't have to worry that on my way to school or work or the gym or the park that I'm going to get harassed by cops. If you start to change that for people and give them stability, give them security, crime starts to drop. You give homeless people money, they start to find homes. Now, I think we should just give them homes, personally. I don't think you should just give them money. I think you should house them. But we know giving poor people money tends to be a very safe investment. We just don't want to do it because we hate to give people anything for free. Never mind tax cuts for the rich. That's not giving them anything for free. Right. I mean, you understand the the disconnect there. But the solutions are really simple. Not necessarily that they're easy to execute. Right. It would take some serious work to try and solve some of these structural problems, both in my country and everywhere else. Right? England's got plenty of lower class people, the working poor, sleeping rough, you know. Um, it would take time and it would take work to make this happen. But we have seen study after study that indicates that it does actually work. If you just give people money without conditions, without strings attached, give people money and give them access to resources and people will make progress. It's... It's so expensive to be poor. People don't appreciate that, but it's very expensive to be poor. If you're able to give people enough money that they can get out of the day-to-day -day struggle of trying to find enough to survive day-to-day, -day, they can start to build. They can start to invest and save and have some security. Um, and I'll tell you another thing. If the government doesn't do it, Often what happens is you have non-governmental groups that may or may not be operating legally that do it. You, you hear stories about the Yakuza and their social involvement, real or, you know, uh, propaganda, as it may be. The Mafia did a lot of bad stuff, but also took care of some people, right? They gave you a sense of security because you at least you knew who was in charge of your neighborhood. And you knew if you needed something, there was someone you could go to, even if it was going to you know, not be the best deal for you. I'm not here to say those are good organizations. I'm just here to say they saw a need and an ability to ingratiate themselves within a community and they took it. And there is a reason that people have fond memories of these groups. Some people, some people do, right? Anyway, uh, I thought this was a great song. Um, I like Pasalu. I think uh, I think he's got an interesting voice. I think he has, at least based on one song, some interesting things to say. And uh, I will probably be getting to another one here pretty soon. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to wrap it up here, though. Thank you guys for watching. Um, have a good day. Stay safe out there. Be good to each other. Uh, drink lots of water and don't talk to cops.